first of all, we want to say congratulations to the Lexington Middle School Lady Minutemen on winning the TNT State Tournament. And uh, we have uh, Coach Owens and uh, Coach Rick Taylor with us. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. No doubt. Uh, I tell you what, this is uh, something comes along. You know, you, you, you have an opportunity to put something together, and you either do or you don't. And the question has already come up. Has the, uh, has the Lady Minutemen ever won the, the state tournament in the past? No, sir. Is that right? Of course, I know we, there's, you know, you look, you go down to the old school and look through some of those trophies and you see some outstanding players and I think maybe they runner up, runner up, maybe. Runner up or whatever. But, uh, uh, so what big turnaround this year, uh, it seemed like, uh, over the last couple of years, the program struggled, and then all of a sudden, you know, you, you have a big turnaround, and it's, it's always good to get on the right track. Oh, yes. Um, so what about that? What, what, what are some of the things that happened where you uh, was able to, uh, wait, best of the West, start there? Is that, is that Actually, record and, and, and those kind of things is what uh, uh, merits the invitation to begin with? To the state tournament, mm -hmm. I, I can't speak to that. Um, that yes, forward. you do get an invitation to it, but it's pay to play. So we just entered them all. We entered James C. Hill, and we also <laughs> entered the TNT. So it came out a big winner. So yes. let, let's walk. Let's walk through the steps of uh, of what happened, where and when, and and all those things. Well, uh, first of all, we got a really good group of girls. Yeah. That, uh, decided they wanted to be together at LMS and play basketball together and go to school there. And, uh, so we're blessed to have them and and then uh, got the year started off well, uh, winning a few ball games and uh, we actually went 23-3 and three for the year. Uh, and if you want to talk about the losses, we can talk about that <laughs> briefly. Uh, but, uh, but yes, the girls, they uh, played well and had a good year together and uh, one of the other things you mentioned, Best of the West, Carrie, uh, the Best of the West tournament won it uh, uh, for the first time, I believe, in LMS. Is that right? Uh, that is correct. Uh, so the, the girls had a really <clears throat> good year, and Coach Owens mentioned the James C. Hale State Tournament in Murfreesboro. We, uh, uh, that was one of the three losses. Uh, we played a team out of uh, Southside out of Lebanon in the semifinals. So we didn't make it to the semifinals of that, but got put out by a team out of Southside, uh, called Southside out of Lebanon, uh, that just – they had a really good team. Which probably would be a feeder program to Mount Juliet or uh, one, Wilson of Central, Wilson Central. one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Central okay. uh, yes, they uh, had what I thought was the best team we'd seen all year uh, and definitely the best player. Mm -hmm. uh, they had a girl got 29 against us, and we tried putting <laughs> a couple of different people on her to slow her down, and uh, she was just a good player. And uh, mm -hmm. they had a good team, so we won't take nothing away from them. So. Well, boy, then in the Springfield tournament, uh, not only did you walk through that, but you uh, defeated a couple of teams that had, were undefeated. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's pretty remarkable. Well, the first week we played Dresden, and there was just a lot of things that happened that we had not seen in that game. So we were very blessed to make it through that game. Mm -hmm. uh, the next round we played Selmer. I believe they were 17-0, and 0, and uh, we gave them their first loss. And then we played... Um, we played Highland Rim, and they were also undefeated. Had won their county last three years, won their tournaments for the last two years, and uh, we were able to beat them to bring it home. And then, so now that now that you've uh, secured a, a state title, what um, any, any festivities, ticker tape parade, uh, just cook out for the girls? Uh, uh, we'll have a basketball <laughs> banquet for sure, and uh, recognize all the girls and. Uh, there, but no, we haven't got any plans for you, your uh, your starters. Um, oh, the team primarily eighth graders, or do you have? Yes, uh, yeah, we had eight eighth graders and two seventh graders that played on the tournament team, um, and just there was just a really good group of girls. Uh, the starters uh, were uh, Haley Scott, uh, Kyla Taylor, Anaya Taylor, Mary Millett Taylor, and Briley Zabrocki. Uh, and so the Taylor triplets, well, yeah. not necessarily. Yeah. 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 And, the Taylor game, yeah. Yeah. And, and I've claimed all three of them at times. So it sounded like to me, mine. sounded like to me, it was a Taylor made tournament. Yeah. There, <laughs> no disrespect to, to <laughs> Scott and the other ones. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and then you know throughout the year, they were, it was all really balanced as far as our offensive scoring went. Uh, we had two girls that uh, Haley and Kyla averaged eleven points each a game, and. 
uh, a nine Briley at both average around a six point per game mark and Mary Millette about five. And then we had some girls come off the bench and mm -hmm. give us some good minutes. Uh, Savannah Johnson was our sixth man uh, all year, and Savannah come in and give us some valuable minutes, and yes. uh, especially at the state tournament. She really uh, did. She did. She, uh, she come in, and and one thing about Savannah, she's pretty versatile. We had to uh, we had to use her. A lot of times she plays the post for us if she's playing, but uh, at the state tournament we had a couple girls getting foul trouble, and it was two of our guards, so we had to ask her to step in and play the three spot. Wow. And she'd normally been playing the four and five, but uh, Savannah is highly intelligent, mm -hmm. uh, so she can kind of she pick up. up things pretty well. And then uh, we also uh, had uh, our other two eighth graders, uh, Hannah Wheeler and Sydney Owens. Uh, Sydney actually scored the last two points of the Dresden game that, that made us have 51 points, which was the first time we broke 50 all year. Oh. We averaged 42 points a game, so we did have some consistency throughout the year. But that was, mm -hmm. And a lot of that was from our decision <clears throat> on not running the score up on some opponents at times and letting other girls get the play in time. But then we had two seventh graders, Sydney Fessmeyer, which is uh, Coach Harlan Fessmeyer's mm -hmm. daughter, and Sydney's given us some valuable minutes this year. And then Presley Walker uh, was the other seventh grader. Well, these uh, uh, these eighth graders now, what's their mindset? Are they are they plan on taking it to the next level and and helping out at the high school level in basketball, various sports, volleyball, we softball? Have, we have several of the girls right now who are um, they go to Solis. Uh, that is, uh, several of them play AAU. Kyla Taylor and Haley Scott and Bryce Zabrocki are all on AAU teams. Mary Millette plays on a travel ball team. I mean, they're just well-rounded athletes, and so I do believe that most of them will go on to play high school sports. Uh, what they'll be, I'm not for sure, <laughs> right. but we definitely know some will play basketball, some will play softball. And, 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 and there's nothing wrong with multiple sports, day and active, of course, it, it, but it's gotten to that point. That it's so highly competitive. Usually, you find your niche, and and you just and, and there's no off season. You're right. That's when you, she mentioned travel ball. Like, you know, travel softball. That's a year round thing. Uh, if you're not when you're not playing tournaments, you're you're working inside indoors and right. hitting uh, AAU basketball. It's a pretty well a year round thing. To, sure. So yeah, you're right. A lot of kids nowadays are specializing in one sport, and uh, but. I think it's good for them to play uh, a lot of sports. Matter of fact, I talked to a college coach, and he said one of the first things he asked is when he's recruiting a kid is what other sports you play because he wants to know what kind of athlete they are. Mm -hmm. And uh, So I, I think it's good for them to play uh, a lot of sports, and uh, a lot of these girls are going to play multiple sports when they go to the next level. Well, congratulations on a, a big win. Uh, of course, now, you know, it's it's one thing to become – the giant now. Now you got to defend that title. So uh, oh, yes. you, you, it, it's all. It's back to the drawing board and, and getting some people ready to roll for another season. I guess. Yes, sir. We'll be going back to the drawing board. All right. All right. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came by, and, and I'll, I'll let you have a final word. I uh, just and, you know thank you for the opportunity for us to come by, and we did. We just want to thank the community and uh, the school system, the from administrators all the way down to the students. We had great support out of the students this year at home games. A lot of them did travel uh, to the tournaments with us, and, and we want to thank the community and those that come out and supported us this year. And the ones that got to watch them got to watch uh, a good group of girls play basketball, and uh, uh, we're going to miss them and uh, wish them the best uh, going forward. And, and thank you all for having us on so we well, can talk yes. about the girls because it was about the girls. and. I think that's one thing we, that might help make it successful is we made it about them, and uh, they took hold of that. One thing you depend on in this community is community involvement and community support, so yes. that's, that's what makes it happen. We appreciate it, and congratulations once again. Thank you. Send those bozos back in here, and we'll try to put up with the have the clown show coming back in. and uh, We're going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, regional quarterfinal action that's coming up tonight. When Tim and Steve get back in, we'll let them go over the uh, the games that are on the board